Alrighty, they're all done now. Ow. It's still hot. Um, they do have a slight toe in, so it turns better. Um, sorry, camber, negative camber, I think it is, or positive, I can't remember which it is. Anyway, it has a camber inwards about, well, that's, that's straight, and it has a camber like that. So, I don't know what, what that is, I don't know, two, three degrees. Just so it, um, it can turn better. You guys probably can't see it now, but once there's a wheel on there, you'll be able to tell. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with those. They, they look pretty good, I reckon. And they're still bloody hot. But, um... I'm gonna get I'm gonna go to Bunnings tomorrow and get a rod. Then I'll weld the rod across here and then put a bolt, a bolt, I mean sorry, a nut, a nut, wheel, nut, wheel, nut, and then lock nuts on the other side. And then um once that's all welded in place, then I can weld these in place because then I know what height to put that in and that at. Then I will drill the holes for the motor mounts. Um, but what I'll do is do slits so I can play around with um, weight to see. Like, what I'll do is I'll put the motor on and then I'll put it on the scales and see where I can get it so it reads the least of the scales yet not too far back. So I want it maybe over a little bit halfway to the front but I'll see with the scales um, how how much it changes in weight when you change the engine in small increments so I get that so the engine is still putting weight on the front but you know it's still pretty light on the front if you know what I mean so yeah I'm pretty happy with those things um, and I have got radio gear now thanks to a wicked YouTube member who goes to my school. Now, I can't remember off the top of my head what his YouTube name is actually is. It's like R R H G S nineteen ninety two or three or whatever. Um I will post his link in the description and it will be right on the screen right now. So go visit visit his channel. It's freaking awesome. He's he's made like a motorized bike and a go ped thingy, and uh, basically does the same thing as me. And yeah, so he donated um, a whole radio gear, so a controller, a receiver, a battery box, and a servo, um, a five kilogram servo. So that's for my throttle. So now all I need to get is two, four, um, two 12 kilo servos, which is 40 bucks. Then I need to get the meter of threaded rod, which is about $6 or something. So that's 46. Then I need to get nuts and lock nuts. So in total, it'll be about 50-ish. And uh, I need to get nuts for the and bolts for the um, sprocket mount. So that's probably another 10. So I'm probably looking at about $65. So yeah, 65 bucks is a small price. And it came down a lot from the 220, which was the first estimate because, you know, all these I made up with all the stuff I had lying around. I originally was gonna go buy bolts and nuts and blah, blah, blah. I was originally gonna go buy radio gear. I was originally gonna go buy a sprocket and um, you know, all that stuff, but I, I just used what I had laying around, so it turned out to be a very cheap project. I've been thinking of making an RC car for ages, but I just always thought, oh no, it just costs too much, but it didn't, so, I mean, I mean, it's not completed yet, but I pretty much got everything, apart from the servos and little nuts and bolts and stuff, so, 
Yeah, or well, the whole chassis will be welded together in probably two hours um, when I got all the parts. So yeah, you can probably see this thing running, or well, once the servo's in, which will probably take like two weeks, then it'll be gone. So I'm um, estimating probably three weeks, and this thing will be up and running, hopefully. So catch you guys later.